Hi, I'm John. And I'm Ted. And I'm Sam. And welcome back to Awesome Quest. Where John eats pizza wrong. Yep. I was hoping you'd forget. <laughs> no. Funny. Let's go into it. As the son of a as the son of a Hawaiian born New Yorker, <laughs> I must shame people who eat pizza incorrectly. Or at least eat pizza that isn't Chicago style pizza incorrectly. And that is to say with a fork and knife or with just a fork. Because it's wrong. <laughs> I eat pizza. I am echoing because I'm talking into a bottle. I eat pizza that way because I don't want to have dirty fucking fingers. Well, it I might it might please hand. you to know that the president of the United States at the time of you saying that does the same. How does that feel? Well, now I just want to kill myself, <laughs> so I appreciate that. Wow, I'm doing really good killing those things first try. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Remember this guy? It's Ogre he Friend. Got... Was he a different color before? Yeah, now he's red. I think so he was orangey. Orange. Yeah. But now he can throw us in. He's red heads. because you beat him already. And he's angry. Oh my gosh, that boomerang. That boomerang is Rings. something fucking really else, good. man. Get that free heal. Gotta jump over the fire. Ah, oh, didn't. We were also talking about like uh, old old photos from like high school and stuff, and like looking back, man, I I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. <laughs> like, I I hated how I looked. I I thought I was fat, but I wasn't. I was actually in like the best shape of my life at the time, but like I couldn't see that. I don't know. Yeah, I think everybody has that experience though with high school. I, like going into high school was weird for me. I was 90 pounds when I was a freshman. You were tiny. I was like four foot 10 and like 90 pounds. And then when I got out, I was like 150 and five foot three. And I was like, now I'm overweight. And I'm right, I'm, I'm at, I was 200 pounds a, a year or two ago. Now I'm down to 170 and I'm trying to get down to like 150 again. Nice job, man. Yeah. I, I was 260, I'm down to 250. I'm, I'm, and it's a process. Mm -hmm. Everything, and everything in life is a process. I know for some people it's not possible to like work out and stuff because one of my friends has a heart issue. He can't work out. Um, yeah, that's totally understandable. So this is, I just wanted to put that out there. So yeah, like, if, if you want to get healthy and you are capable of doing the work to do it, go for it. See, like, and, and don't give up just because you don't see results right away. Like, it, it, it sucks not seeing results really quickly, but mm -hmm. like... You just gotta work at it. Like for instance, I'm I'm purposefully I'm not doing any specific exercises. I just specifically cut all of my portions pretty much in half. Mm -hmm. Like I don't eat as granted I ate a lot of pizza today, but that was the only thing I'd had to eat today. <laughs> Which probably isn't great either. It's not healthy, no, but like between between working and uh, I had to run and help a buddy of mine who's sick. Like, I just didn't have a chance to eat. Stuck up on granola bars. Yeah. That's not great either. That's not no, great but either. It's, it's something. Like, even if you just have to, like, do it Even if you just once, have, like, yeah. one. <clears throat> like, one granola bar is fine. It's when you start eating, like, <laughs> them for seven. Everything, yeah. Yeah. Like, we have those peanut butter ones that are, like, super protein rich. The problem is, like, if you eat one, like, I don't know if this is real, but this is something I suspect. I'm pretty sure peanut butter is like a, uh, an, an appetite increaser. I yeah, don't know the exact I believe, word. I believe for it. that there might be something to that because I know in uh, malnourishment cases they use a type of thing called like super peanut butter. Yeah. Which is hyper calorie dense, like version of peanut butter. Like one pack is like, I don't know, like some ridiculous number. It's like one pack is like 2,000 calories. Yeah. And like th they use it specifically to stimulate for, like, the appetite. Old folks who really like who've lost a lot of lot of weight after surgeries and like Kids stuff in like that. Third world countries because yeah, because eat eating carbohydrates if you're starving is not a good idea. 
Well, breads, I guess, and yeah. crackers. That's not a good idea. Like we're we're pretty lucky in the U.S. to have like such a crazy uh, food experience, but at the same time, like we also have like some of the worst foods you could possibly eat. So, mm -hmm. can you grab that with the hook shot? No. Huh. I figured I'd figured to try. Bombs. How are you gonna... You would think you could bomb that, actually, wouldn't ya? You can't. But you would think you could. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was... I think I made a mistake leaving it there. So I can't... Get know, back. And grab it and move it to where I need to. Yeah. Because I need to throw it over this gap. Uh, what? Oh. How? Well, I should have you thrown it in the, I should have thrown it in the hole to have it respawn. That's what I should have done. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I'm seeing more and more why this dungeon, dungeon frustrated sucks. you. Oh wait, I need to And now you're wondering why peanut butter gamer lied well, to you. <laughs> no, I I still agree with Sir Peevington on the fact that it is an interesting dungeon. Conceptually, it is very interesting. I will admit, though, that it does seem overly complicated. There's just a lot of running around backtracking. Kind yeah. Of. Excuse me. <clears throat> But is there as much backtracking as, as Chapter 4 of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? Was that Duplass? Yes, that was the Duplass level. It's a great uh, level. It's... <laughs> I love that game. I love that game, too. Yeah, but there was... Th that was heavy on the backtracking on that one in particular. That, that level had... All the backtracking. <laughs> it was, like, full-on next-level amounts of backtracking. Because mm -hmm. you had to go from... Like, his castle. Well, there's also Chasing General White. And, um, I can't remember which chapter number that is. Seven or eight? Uh... It's the one where you get launched to the moon. That would be... Oh, yeah. Eight. No, maybe seven. I don't know. That game's great. What are you doing? I need to... Don't you need the ball? No. Not yet. <clears throat> Yeah, I, um, I really hope we get to see a remake or remaster of Thousand Year Door. And like we do. And the first one, too, because the first <laughs> one's crazy bonkers, too. I can't wait for it to be a remake, but instead of playing like Thousand Year Door, it plays like Sticker Star or Color Splash. <laughs> Can you imagine how angry people it? would be? Yeah, everyone would hate that. <laughs> Everything I've heard says Color Splash is like an expertly written game. It's it's supposed to be amazingly written, but everyone hates the gameplay. Yeah. I heard the gameplay isn't as bad as Sticker Star, though. <laughs> yes, I've heard that as well. Sam, why keep jumping into spikers? Those look like they hurt. Life's calling. <laughs> Life's calling. Yeah. You only live once, yeah? No. Yes. Don't bring that back. Yes. Yes, bring it back. Bring yes. everything back. Yeah. Time is a flat circle. Everything returns. Oh, well, yeah, that's kind of what Buddhism says. Yeah. Remember, I can have cheeseburger? Yeah! God, that's, remember, remember that's saying ancient. at this point. Remember saying epic fail all the time? Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. You got pwned. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Oh, God, stop. I'm going to barf. <laughs> Welcome back to, like, what, 2006? Yeah. <laughs> I was a freshman in high school. I had... I was in sixth grade. I had no social skills. Um, oh, boy. I hated myself. That sounds like the average high school experience, though. Yeah. I also hated school, but that was because I had what was, like, newly discovered to be called school avoidance anxiety, which is literally, um... like... 
There's your brain is like programmed to be like, we're not going to go. We can't go. If we go, we die. There's the Rage comics. Oh man. Oh man, jeez Louise. Troll face. Don't forget troll face. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think God, of what there, else was. A there were a bunch then. more too. Gen Z memes are so much better than millennials memes. <laughs> Throw it up. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Nice. But like I'm saying, Gen Z memes are way better than anything we had. Eh. We were we were children of the like early internet though, which meant like everything was fair game. Well like That's why not everything was good, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. That burp hurt my chest. Here we go. We did it, boys. We got him. Goosh. Goosh. Ladies and gentlemen. Goosh. That's a pretty old reference, too. I mean... Not as old as a bunch of things we're talking about. Well, no, that's, I think, newer, but... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. That, that video, those videos are always hilarious. <laughs> because... Yeah. <laughs> because there's always a part where, like, the SWAT team comes in and grabs, like, a flower pot and just smashes it against the wall, and I laugh so hard every time. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Gen Z, Gen Z kind of humor is way funnier. It's weirdly, like, nonsensical, and I love it. <laughs> uh <sighs> We're doing it. So, Sam, did you see that I updated, uh, Senor Boothy? Yeah, here it's now blankets. Or... Yep, mom and dad bought me, m the mama and the papa, bought me uh, uh, acoustic blankets for Christmas, and they gave them to me early, oh, and. Cool. God, it sounds so good in there now. Granted, I still need to add some foam to the ceiling to make it 100% perfect. Hey, look, it's a rope! Um, Goombers. Goombers! We gotta get them goombers! Um, that sounds vaguely racist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sounds like it, yeah. Well, we're talking about goombas. <laughs> you were. Am I going to prison? Uh, for Goomba hate crimes. I mean, then Mario's fucked. Well, he's also a princess's bodyguard, basically, so... I mean, he's got diplomatic immunity. Yeah. Right? Yeah, well, if you watch Game Theory, he's a fucking murderer, so... Yeah, well, Game Theory makes up a bunch of shit, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, my opinion. I don't think that they're very funny or he, anything. He, he but... also put an image of Patches up when he was talking about, what was it, Sigmire? Yeah. <laughs> I will say, though... Hey, um, Ron, you think you can take me? All right, boys, get this punk out of my face. I will say... Oh my god, it's a bard. <laughs> oh my god, it's me. Um, I will say, I understand why a lot of people, like, aren't super big fans of MatPat. <laughs> Those I... creeps are some of my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> you pray oh, no. to get you. I, I really enjoy oh, game no. theory, though. Uh, especially the newer game theory, where, like... It's not just like, is Mario a murderer? Like his old stuff, which is was very Ness meme -y. Sans Undertale? Yeah. It's it's not as meme -y as it used to be. Don't get me wrong, there are still memes. But it's not as bad as it used to be. You know something I just realized? If we did like lore videos and stuff, but we had a smooth, silky voice with a British accent like Vadi Vidya, would be raking it in. <laughs> oh, we'd be raking it in, but neither of us have a smooth, silky voice With a or British... a British accent. Oh, no, yeah. Because both of us are... Hello, hello, what's all this then? <laughs> hello, hello, what's all this then? Just be super, like, stereotypical as we as we dub over videos. Fucking monsters, yeah. Well, and the other problem is, like, you want to know the reason I'm so good at doing the, like, protagonist hop voice that we've been using? Yeah. <laughs> because that's like where my fucking range is. Yeah. Like, neither of us have those deep dulcet tones that we'd need. Because <laughs> no, both of us sound like fucking 
twelve year old still going through fucking puberty. <laughs> Ouch. Every every once in a I, I will not lie. Every once in a while, the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me recently is my voice cracked in the booth and I was like oh boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like I was just like God damn it. <laughs> what kind of coffee you want? Madam. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't remember. It's the all, yeah from High M D S E's Persona Four. Yeah. Um. Okay. What's it? Hey, Joseph. I'm making coffee. What do you want? How do you? Uh, how do you take it? Um. Black. Don't try to sound tough, you sissy. Um. With cream. Coming, coming right, right up, up, madam. <laughs> with cream and sugar. What are you, Nanako? I'm Surpri- a black. Surprise! Surprise me! <laughs> Just toss it. <gasps> God, those videos are so They're good. They're great, yeah. Those comics. I feel like we've brought them up. We have brought them up the before. Um, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if High M Daisy is still whenever... doing those kinds of comics, but definitely check them They're out. Funny. It was always whenever we walk past the little fox in the village that you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's exactly that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, boss time. Jeez Louise, we're nerds. Or oh, nerds, yeah, this yeah. is a really interesting boss, too. I'm not gonna hold back. You killed all my friends. And then there's two more of them right there. I'm gonna, oh, make you, I'm gonna make you wish you were never born. I already wish that. So. Aw, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Evil Eagle. That's a clever name. Did he just kill his other two friends? Oh, I missed. Boom. Got him. This is such a unique. The boomerang is fight. so good. Did he kill his other two friends? Maybe. Yeah. It looks like he did. The boomerang is the. I don't know what I would do in this fight if I didn't have it. Probably you'd have to go on arrow or something. But... Yeah. For some reason, I'm getting like Kibari from River City Euro vibes. Yeah, it's very similar. That was an annoying fight. The boomerang is so good. <clears throat> That fight would have been easier if we had a boomerang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you literally had to, like, trick her, her into, into hitting, herself. hitting herself. Yeah. Sam, one of these days, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to sit down and play some River City Girls on my Switch. Because I think you'd like it. Yeah, I think you would. Jeez Louise, how much HP does boss guy? I know, it takes a while. That's why I'm like, if I didn't have a boomerang, it would be insane, yeah. It's a beefy boy! <laughs> why did I have this? I've been trying to quit caffeine, and I just had an just, entire bottle of Diet Pepsi. You're just gonna be burping all over the mic. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'm trying to quit caffeine because I'm trying to be healthier. It's probably the soda is less healthy than the caffeine. Yeah. yeah well, well, the caffeine induces a need for soda or coffee, which neither of those are great for you. My dad um, would beg to differ on the coffee man, front. You well, your dad drinks a gallon of coffee yeah. a day. Lost. Yeah, he does. But you will be lost, too, if the wind fish waves. I cannot Same imagine how often he has to go to the bathroom. Because of how strong a diuretic coffee is. I don't know, because neither here or my mom seem to drink water, so... How do they subsist? I don't know. I know you watch, Mrs. Gale. How are you alive? I think she drinks water maybe once a day, and then the rest of it is either like tea or... Okay, now tea... Tea or maybe... Uh, oh, I didn't know there was uh, like What's the other one? Tea or Dr. Pepper? Jesus. I do like Dr. Pepper. Tea. Too sweet for me, man. I can't do it anymore. That's what I think about regular Coke. Coke I can barely do anymore either. When no. I drink regular Coke, it feels like I'm getting a cavity. Alright. Piano. The organ of evening calm. I didn't know we were trying to put the wind fish to bed. Yeah, aren't we trying to wake him up? He didn't. He He's music. so pretty. Man, I still want more news on Breath of the Wild 2. I do too! <laughs> man, um, Game Awards coming man, out next week. When I first, yeah, maybe. Maybe. When I first saw the, the teaser for it, now granted, 
like I don't know how big a D and D nerd you are, <clears throat> but um, the you think corpse, Lich? the corpse of Ganondorf looked like looked almost just like a Sarerak from D and D. All right, ready? I'll show you a p comparison ready, picture. Ready I to don't think it looked like a Sarerak from what I know. Are we ready to date this video? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The Game Awards probably going to have a Smash character DLC announced. Any guesses? I want Solaire, but I know it's not going to be. Um, I could also, I would also like someone from the Tales series. My, I feel like that's kind of unlikely too. Yeah. I think, I think the smart money that people are thinking is going to be Goku? true. No. <laughs> you know, I had to say the meme. Um, is Dante. That would be cool. That would think, be cool. I think that's what people expect it to be. I mean, they have Bayonetta in, so... I still want Phoenix Wright. That would I... be awesome, too. That's all I want. My guess... Solaire would be... I'm kind of going to side with uh, the people I follow on Twitter. I'm going to say Shantae. She already has a spirit, though, I think. She has a spirit. But I don't think... I think if they had, like, a spirit, I don't feel I like... Mean, that, that's just my guess. I don't know. That I'm not gonna. gonna I'm not gonna Look. say. Somebody Marian. help! Mary, what the frickity dickity doo doo are you doing? Hey, monsters put me up here. What should I do? I'm afraid of heights. Aw, oh, that's sweet. We're gonna save her. Got her. <laughs> wow, what a hero! You know. Samuel, thank you. Say. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but. Hey, it's Mario. Moment ruined. Uh, never mind. I gotta go. Don't want to tell me. Oh, okay, bye. Well, our dad's there, yeah. <laughs> Sick jump. And that is where we will end this episode. Wait. Gotta talk to Owl real quick. The girl sang her song in front of Egg. <laughs> <laughs> her Ballad of the Windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake Windfish? <laughs> the next siren's instrument is in West. Play your melody so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. Windfish waits for you. Hoot. <laughs> oh, you don't have the the in there. <laughs> I just sometimes skip. And we will see you guys in the next one. You mean in next one.